The national debt at this point is probably the most serious uh, challenge facing the country today. Uh, certainly the most serious uh, economic challenge. Uh, the, the consequences of failure to deal with it are uh, literally catastrophic if, if we don't make some real progress because we're going to uh, diminish the chances for our children and our grandchildren of living anything like the kind of life that uh, we've been fortunate enough to live. As far as I'm concerned, we have to have a go big, a go big approach uh, to this particular problem. Uh, I think it has to be uh, at least two and a half to three times what they're talking about right now. The uh, four uh, point one trillion or whatever it is is just barely enough to get by. Uh, the one point five trillion that uh, they're talking about, if they stay at that level, simply doesn't begin to get the job done, and the markets will react to it. Uh, the international community will react to it, and we'll see uh, immediate results. Uh, so it seems to me that uh, we need to understand that the old concept that you could somehow uh, reduce taxes, increase spending, and balance the budget, uh, it, that's been a, a, a false uh, assumption for a very long period of time. But uh, people are beginning to get serious and understand that we've got to, to uh, to go big and, and, and go long in this particular case. I think the American people at this point recognize, and I think I've, I've seen some uh, polling that suggests that uh, a clear majority of the people understand the magnitude of the, of the challenge that we face, and I think they're looking for some profiles and courage. They want the legislators, they want the president, they want everyone that has anything to do with our economic and fiscal policy to make the tough choices. And if they see the leaders making the tough choices, they'll get behind those leaders. And I frankly think that the uh, approval rating for Congress, the president, and everybody else will go up and not down because uh, they will finally have made the kind of tough choices that we have been avoiding for a very long period of time. they clearly have to be looking at both the entitlement side uh, as well as the revenue side. Uh, you can't do it without uh, affecting both of those elements. Uh, the, and, and for a long period of time, there, there have been too many people that have said, we won't let them touch one side or the other. Too many particular groups have said, yes, fine, the uh, deficit is a serious problem, but don't touch my program. Everybody is going to have to join in this sacrifice. I think that the American people are looking for this kind of, of political courage, which will be rewarded. It's going to require some sh uh, shared sacrifice. Uh, and I think the American people are, are ready to accept that because they understand the consequences uh, of not doing what really has to be done. Social Security and Medicare are what make up the uh, biggest part of the deficit problem that we're facing right now. We have kept Social Security and Medicare uh, and Medicaid and, and un other unfunded mandates off the table for a long period of time, so the problem has simply gotten worse and worse and worse. And if we don't address those, in addition to the revenue side, you can't take any major item off the table. Uh, and if, if they're, if they're going to solve the problem, we're going to have to do that. If we don't attack all of the problems that are contributing to this constant uh, increase in the debt, which I understand is someplace around, what, $4 billion a day, whatever the number is, uh, if we don't get serious about that number and about the long-term consequences for our children and our grandchildren, uh, we're going to be visited with... Uh, uh, a, a period of time in history that none of us want to contemplate. It seems to me that the uh, Fiscal Commission and others who have really looked hard at this problem have said to simply turn this behemoth around, we need uh, something in the range of about $4.5 trillion. The $1.5 trillion, which is all that is really required under what was a last minute uh, deal between uh, a number of interests and people that wanted to uh, avoid the default which was just about to take place but didn't want to make the, the hard decisions is now beyond us and the the deal uh, in, in, included the 1.5 uh, trillion dollars or whatever it is that uh, uh, Congress or this special committee is supposed to come up with that's not enough that doesn't begin to solve the serious problem it, if, if, it, if they don't get something that is close to the four point 
uh, one for $4.5 trillion that several commissions that have looked at this seriously have suggested has to be a part of it and that many of the members of one or more commissions have already agreed to in part or in principle, uh, then as far as I'm concerned, it will be a failure. I would say to members of both parties, you were elected to make tough decisions. You were elected to provide leadership for this country in tough times. We're, we're coming to a point that you're being put to the test. Uh, it is critically important that you work together and, and in fact you've got to watch each other's back. This shouldn't have got become so political that it's uh, not a solvable problem. There are enough people in the, in the Congress and the administration and, and other entities that understand just how serious this situation is and are willing to work together and are willing to share in the sacrifice. We've got to have a shared sacrifice and it's going to, going to involve uh, members of both parties and I'd like to see some of that leadership come from the party leadership so that they wouldn't constantly push their uh, various members into adopting positions that take them out of the game. If you are not willing to consider both entitlements as well as revenue, you're not serious about solving the problem. I hope the system is up to the task. If it's clear that the American people uh, are behind those who are trying to solve the problem, I think they can solve it. Uh, right now, it's very much in doubt because there, there are still too many uh, interest that are saying, yes, we have a problem, but don't use any of the money that I'm expecting or don't use any of the uh, re revenues, uh, taxes, whatever the case may be. If, if you're saying everybody but me want, has to be a part of the problem, you're, you're not really part of the uh, solution.